I can definitely see the lack of commitment or the lack of want to do the workouts in the thumbnails I've shown of me uh, before I do the exercise logs. In the moment of taking all of these photos, it would just be me in my mind just having a straight face taking those thumbnails, but unless there were, unless I seemed to make progress, I didn't really have fun with these sessions at all. At least back when I made these the thumbnail photos, when I didn't necessarily care for working on tempos or working to a tempo as much. Working at this gym is uh, definitely opened up my eyes to tempo. It matters so much, in my opinion anyway. And I'm saying that coming from a place where I didn't really think about tempo whatsoever. For example, when I started off making videos on this channel and doing the plank journey logs back when, this channel was called a planking journey, not a calisthenics journey because I wanted to go down the route of going for a world record. That was me being aspirational with the, uh, getting a plank world record. I don't want to do that anymore. But around that period of time, I didn't care for tempo. I I had my, uh, actually no, no I didn't. At this time, this was January 2022, so I didn't actually decide to go down the route of personal training yet, but I did do workouts and I had had quite a few sessions with PTs at this point. So although in their sessions, they showed me about tempo, they didn't explicitly tell me about tempo as far as I'm aware. And that was a part why I'd be sweating in those workouts, but not in my own due to a lack of knowledge, really. I would, I remember one time I even wanted to take my t-shirt off and just, no, I actually did just work out in my vest because it was that challenging. And that's partially because of tempos. That's the sort of stuff that personal trainers would help out with, but not explicitly say to clients because if they do, then that's their that's their income source gone. Unless they ask, then then they might answer. But I don't think personal trainers are going to explicitly tell you, or even uh, gym instructors, GIs they're called, or slash FCs, fitness coaches. That is different names, same qualification. Yeah, they. In my, yeah, from my experience anyway, they won't explicitly tell you that because if if they were to, they then put the client in a position where they know what they're doing to the point where they wouldn't want to have sessions with the PT because they'd start learning, what, they'd start knowing exactly what to do. They'd start becoming more competent by themselves, which... The, the PT can't have or can't allow on the premise that they want to keep having that client go through PT sessions for their own monetary gain. Some PTs are different. Some actually don't mind. Some would actually want to see the person or uh, the clients grow to the point that they don't actually, the clients actually don't need them training them anymore because they know what to do with the personal trainer's help, which is what they're there for. But I sense that on the premise, I want to keep clients over the years for like for many months on end minimum, then this is the sort of information I unfortunately probably would have to purposely not tell them. Because if I did, then they'd be able to really get on their way with working out by themselves uh, efficiently. Some people, uh, some clients genuinely might not care about that sort of stuff. But I'm telling you as someone 
that has qualifications and experience and that's gone through qualifications that the gym I'm working at has provided it, it matters, tempo matters and I'm seeing that outside of work through the exercise logs I need some water but going back to the main idea of this video about a lack of motivation you definitely could come from quite a few places actually hold on a second first place or well, first thing that i would dress but I didn't think of initially is overwhelm this is something that i've been experiencing and i call this a downer or my motivation or want to do things i've thought of wanting to upload this video and upload that video catching up on uploading all of the videos that i've made from the 16th of september up to today on the 21st of september 2023 and in wanting to do so I thought about it so much that I perhaps at the time might not have put into these words, put my mind into over overdrive. I got around that through giving myself a large enough window to get up to date with uploading all of the videos. I gave myself a one, I gave myself one four hour window to upload the videos. And although I haven't even still to this day, I haven't uploaded everything to get up to date, I've almost done that i've even uploaded the three vlog of of today on the 21st and it's 12 to 11 at night i'd prefer if i was sleeping from a health perspective but i'm not and in return i have found out how to actually enjoy my workouts more by uh tempos caring for tempos even though i'm not following the plan that I've made for uh, this week, uh, this week's worth of workouts. I do care, but perhaps I should just work on tempos first before going out my way to do a whole lot with the session plans. That these session plans that I've made, they were um, they might take a lot of commitment to uh, follow through with at my physical ability level but in order to actually do them for example 200 push-ups perhaps what I could do is I could keep the tempo the same and from there take it in breaks for example I could do 50 push-ups at one time have a large break or a long break for example maybe 10 minutes or something like that 10 to 20 minutes have a food break as well and then do that four times or even if i really wanted to i could do 100 push-ups in one go not in one set but in one uh, at one time from there once i've done the 100 push-ups i could then move on to doing something different or just having a break and then going to the 200 by doing another 100 reps to make it 200 in, realistically speaking although compared to what i'm doing now i definitely would be experiencing some uh, increases in strength it would only be a matter of time until i have to move on to something more difficult but then again to be fair i can cross that bridge when i get there I'll make this relevant to the uh, topic of the video. I'd experienced a lack of motivation because it seemed like all of this effort that I'd be putting in with the exercise sessions when I would work out for a while aren't necessarily paying off and I want to just be able to do the moves. I want to just be able to do the pull-ups, the dips and that sort of stuff, the L-sits, the V-sits, etc. 
particularly the pull-ups as I've spoken about before in one of the previous vlogs. I don't remember which one, but in one of the <laughs> many videos I made recently, maybe even today in fact, it's something that I've spoken about. Maybe in the food vlog, I don't remember, but it doesn't matter to make my point, it's irrelevant. It seems like all of the effort that I'd be putting in would not be paying off and I view that as a downer. I wouldn't use that as a reason to keep pushing, even though I could. I just decide to not do that. And that is a part of why I'd be, as a part of why I am where I'm at with my physical ability levels. However, things are changing because what I'm doing is changing. The amount of physical activity that I'm partaking in is changing. Doing this gym instructor role means that I have to be physically active, way more physically active than just two hours a day outside, let alone two hours a day actually exercising. Although I'd be okay with that. As a part of the role, what I have to do is I have to maintain the state of the gym floor. This in itself is another job. It's, it's beyond coaching people. That's like one job. And then clean, maintaining the state of the floor because of how messy you can get. The gym I work at is <sighs> something else. That in itself is a labour or a job. It involves a lot of physical activity, which people who are interested in uh, going down this fitness industry route and working as a gym instructor might not know about. On paper, it sounds like nothing. Maintaining the state of, of the gym floor. But trust me. That could be at least one hour's worth of physical activity. Or or less. I don't well, for me personally, with the shifts that I'm working, it's not more than that ever, as far as I'm aware. But it, it basically is like an unpaid job. That all that physical labour is a lot. Like my left knee right now is hurting. I walk I walk a lot. I'd usually do, uh, especially on shifts, uh, on days I'm working at the gym, I do maybe 20 to 25,000 steps a day. My patella on my left knee, oh my gosh. But that's a part of why, and that's excluding all of the other physical activity that I'd be getting up to, especially on days I'd be working at that gym, like maintaining the state of the gym floor. I don't even know why I'm smiling when I say that. It is going to help me get stronger, but I'm, I don't think I'm smiling because of that. It's just, yeah, it's not, going down this route isn't what I thought it would be. It's, it, it's, even though they weren't lying in the job advertisement, it's, um, me working has definitely opened my eyes up to the reality of working as a gym instructor, all that physical activity, and perhaps... I wouldn't want to put in as much effort with the um, physical activities I'd be doing by myself due to not making it fun uh, fun enough to want to do it, but also because I'd be getting up to a lot of physical activity anyway. In order to stay physically fit, not necessarily physically healthy, but physically fit with the shifts that I'd be doing, I'm achieving that already. Plus, I'm working on my physique. But that's not through, not through physical activity. That's solely through nutrition. This, the amount of physical activity that I've been doing, although it might be an aid, nutrition's more of a aid in terms of me wanting to see my abs and like how I look more. Uh, because I'd be wanting to decrease my body weight. Once upon a time to get back to a healthy weight, I'm within a, the normal weight being in my class now. But also to see my abs again, because I like that look. I enjoyed it. I've been wanting to see my abs for a while. 
and uh, well for for three years now and uh yeah i'm definitely getting there in the lighting that is anyway however that way of thinking didn't consider that i could be setting myself up for a load of body dysmorphia based issues i wouldn't usually use that word that's kind of out, out of character for me but i think it's true it's not like it's that's completely unheard of people can get to a point where it um, going out with it being going out of your way to work on your physique can be unhealthy not the other way around although i'd like to imagine that i won't get to that point i'm not exempt from such hardship especially going down the route of fitness and saying to myself over and over again that i value taking care of my health and might actually take that one step too far and put myself put my body in a position in which it is although physically fit extremely physically unhealthy because i'd be burning myself down into the ground by trying to stay at a certain weight yeah but in terms of physique i like how things are going i'm decreasing my weight as i want to and i plan to keep going with that up to 70 kg maybe or if not 65 i'm just about not six foot two so 65 kg is slim for me anyway plus alongside all of the physical activity i'd be doing i definitely would be looking slim there could be quite a bit of social stigma in the house because of that uh, through my parents saying that they don't like how much I'm decreasing my weight thinking that I've got too skinny um, and um, they might try to take care of my nutrition for me but they are the last people that, that I should be listening to listening to my mum's overweight and my dad's obese they are the last people that I go out of my way to take advice from Although other people, when I say that, although I even myself might think I'm throwing my parents under the bus when saying it, it's the truth. It's to a point where I even remember my dad saying, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. That's the sort of personality that I have as my dad, unfortunately. But that's the reality of my situation. And I'm not helping either. I'm not helping with that either. In my mind, because of how our relationship is, I just think he decides to be unfit and that's his choice with all the excuses that you come up with, um, not going out of his way to eat as healthy as he could do, that's on him. And again, with, our, with the way our relationship is, I'd just rather help myself out. And then if I would want to help, really try and help my parents out with uh, nutrition and stuff like that than I can but they don't want to do it themselves enough and although I have given the meal plans in the past it's, there's only so much that somebody else can do before um, the person themselves who claim that they want to get healthy have to actually put in work themselves or uh, get the motivation to want to do that themselves that's not in this very specific scenario that's not on me it's not my responsibility to take care of their health for them their adults and you think as they've lived longer than me they'd know what to do but they would care enough but about their health but i don't think they do with them survival is more of a priority not living however i'm not like that yeah perhaps that's just the art of evolution but then again species can devolve and go backward so or in this case like with wealth for example an individual can have a lot of money coming from what they've done but then the next generation might not be able to handle it so they in a sense would have devolved 
setting the future generations up for poverty but then again that's that would just be a cycle but that's the sort of stuff i'm talking about perhaps i'm just for my decisions i'd be going on the up <sighs> my left knee man it's no joke that pain i don't even want to do any leg workouts that involve squatting or bending down whatsoever it's not nice at all i'd have to squat down when picking up weight and some people they even some people lift 50 kg dumbbells but as a part of the job the labor the, the physical labor side of things i am the one that has to put it back along with the people i work with it's not nice but then again that is a reality of the job and what you sign up for anyway um i think i'll leave it there i want to rest and do things for tomorrow i've got a whole lot to do for tomorrow i've got to plan classes for the um for the shift i've got to do one of my pt exams tomorrow and that's just the tip of the iceberg yeah but anyway i want to leave it there i think i've spoken about the lack of commitment that i see because i wouldn't make my workouts fun enough and tempo helps with that plus smiling would help but i don't want to fake it smiling in thumbnails i mean would help but i don't want to fake it i'm not the fake it till you make it sort of individual the look i'd have on my face that i'm showing in these photos at the start of the video are just representative of how i felt at the time just not really much activity going on in the mind consciously honestly i'd have my plans i'd do them but i wasn't necessarily like interested or really motivated to do them yeah mm. i could try out challenging workouts diff different workouts and uh just take it from there but like for example trying to do 50 push-ups in five minutes hey who knows i might actually be able to do that oh my lower back's hurting but anyway um yeah things to i could do like commitment builders people might talk about building their confidence up with that sort of, with uh, and stuff with like going to the gym and knowing how to use a barbell and that sort of stuff but competence builders i think would help me personally and also um things that build up my fun want to do exercises would help on the premise i really care for doing like calisthenic stuff that would help on the premise i really wanted to do it and in order to do that i'd go to different spaces oh my gosh my lower back's really hurting i'd go to different spaces and see the progress that i could make in those in those classes go and see them on a regular basis like with swimming for example i can see the progress side so i'd always want to go back and i like how i feel from swimming and how i feel from talking to the people i have for the swimming list it's a lot of fun but anyway storage is i mean i got a storage is full notification but i've deleted a lot of videos regardless i'm gonna end it here i think i've spoken enough so i'm out peace cheers to uh building on my competence and also how much fun i have how much fun i have during the sessions i plan to do that with uh, coaches through coaches and going to calisthenics classes and that sort of stuff just hobbies and then in the meantime i can use what i've learned from there in my own sessions to then have a lot of fun with it to actually make the progress i want to make maybe there was also a lack of acceptance around the fact that as a beginner i'm not necessarily going to be able to make the progress i want to make especially on my own i definitely am not a novice in this i haven't just started but i haven't been making the progress that i could make and hence i'd say i'm at a beginner level with calisthenics even though it's been less than two years because i've just been my progress has been fairly stagnant especially recently 
I don't think I've been making the progress that I could be making, but with the help of the classes, in the same way I've made progress through swimming, I'll make progress through calisthenics, and I think it'd actually be fun again, like I want it to be, and would plan to make it through the classes. I want to, um, it being my own sessions, plan to make those sessions that I do by myself fun through the classes, through basically copying and pasting what I'd be learning through in the classes, through what I'd be doing in the sessions, and also what I'd be asking the coaches, and uh, that sort of stuff, I just copy and paste into my own sessions in the ways I want, but anyway, I'm the mouthpiece, I've done enough.